Hey, what's going on, you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in today as we go ahead and take a look into the very next episode of The Big Bang Theory, season number three, episode number nine. And uh, before we get started today, I would just like to take the time to say I hope everyone is having a wonderful and lovely day. And uh, when you guys tune in today, I hope you guys have a good time, have a few good laughs, and uh, enjoy a show that I think we all like. Um, and I thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you guys are a fan of what we do here in Geek Down Nation, if you guys want some early and unedited episodes, go ahead and Give us a like, comment, subscribe, and check us out on our Patreon if that is something that interests you. If you guys want to check it out, support us. That would be very awesome for us. But if not, that's completely cool. Remember, it's always up to you guys. So, previous episode was a really, really funny episode. We had the boys who uh, they ate some edibles, and um, from then on, it was hilarious. I think if if you guys did not watch it, I, I highly recommend you guys go ahead watching that episode before watching this episode. It was a really awesome time. Um... I mean, think about it. The boys eating an edible, that's all you got to know. <laughs> we also had Penny, who uh, she was at home, and she, I think, slipped in the shower and dislocated her shoulder? Something. She dislocated something. And uh, Sheldon, who actually stood home because he was working on something, heard the noise, heard the ruckus, and decided to go over there and investigate and see what was going on. Long story short, Sheldon tried his best to help Penny out and bringing her into the hospital and stuff like that. He did. He did bring her there. Um, but fun episode, ladies and gentlemen, like I said before, if you guys did not check that out, I highly recommend you check that episode out. It was a really fun episode and it will be, it will be a good time. I, I promise you guys. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get the show on the road. This is the big bang theory. And here we go. I need to know whether you're looking for a relationship or a one night stand. Ooh, good question. Okay, just to be clear, there's only one correct answer, right? Uh, it's not yeah. Like chicken or fish on an airplane. No. Well, Maybe you need to think about it a little. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, homies. Omet. What exactly does that mean? He struck out. Hey, dude. <laughs> he definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, now that I think about it, that was three dates. I was gonna say they barely okay, went out on well, dates, though. So. Before you and Penny hooked up, did she ask for any kind of commitment? Talking about the cultural paradigm in which people have sex after three dates. Okay, I'll just tell you. Now, are we talking date the social interaction or date the dried fruit? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. What's your announcement? <laughs> well, this is very exciting, and I wanted you to be able to share my news with my friends. My pleasure. <laughs> my thank you was not sincere. Mm, but my pleasure is. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Guests. Yeah, don't answer. It's rhetorical. <laughs> Why are you such a stupid head? I would have been like, get out of here. That is also rhetorical. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> Are you really going to be on NPR? Yes. Very cool. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. Way well, to go, Sheldon. very excited. She's convening her Bible study group to listen in and then pray for my soul. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the race in Gitka Ghar. What does that mean? Uh, that means uh, Fever 104, home of the really good current music. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Much catchier in Hindi. <laughs> All right. These are the. Um, Howard, look this over and tell me what's unclear to you. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a master's degree in engine. Talk to me. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. That is so good. <laughs> ah, sorry, just screwing with you. Finally, settle down into a relationship. It would be with someone, you know, different. Different how? She's nice. But, she's know, she's cute. Like Megan Fox from Transformers. <laughs> or Katie Sackoff from Battlestar. <laughs> it was like 20 years ago. Imagine how saggy those things would be. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to throw away a great girl like Bernadette because you're holding out for some ridiculous fantasy? You know, physically. Oh my goodness, Penny. Again, I'm right here. I was going to say, shh. The point is, I do not judge a book by its cover. I am interested in the person underneath. I am here, right? You see me. <laughs> Delicious caramel, too. <laughs> 
All right, you know what? I will tell you why it's Excuse wrong. Excuse me, it, may I interject? Sure, what? why not? Biologically speaking, it's of course an entirely different question. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ira Flato, and you're listening to Oh no, NPR he's gonna mess Science with him. Friday. Joining on educated in your audience. Oh my god. Two poles. <clears throat> uh north and south poles. <laughs> if you cut that in half, ordinary magnet has two poles. Oh my goodness, the this is so bad. The of a monopole is that it <laughs> has only one pole, hence monopole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a dream. Always nice to be part of your masturbatory fantasies. I figured. It has to be a dream. Come on, Katie, don't make it sound so cheap. I'm sorry, fiddling with yourself in the bathtub is a real... Gone you. It wasn't funny. I thought it was funny. Raj. Okay. Bad timing, Raj. Oh. Did you laugh? I fell on the floor. <laughs> All right. Clear than he made you look. I don't think that's possible, dude. I was going to say, how we do that? I didn't come to help. I came to mock. <laughs> Sheldon, what you need to do is figure out a way to exact... Well, I suppose I could poison Kripke. No. No, 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 it's no. It's a simple matter. There are several toxic chemicals that be untraceable. Sheldon, you're going dark. <laughs> that's a bad move. Okay, uh, that's the spirit... But um, let's dial it back to a non-lethal form. He likes me and is, you know, real. She's beautiful. Come on, don't do her so like this that. This isn't a joke. No. Then you're insane. I prefer to think of my. Don't you just hate when this happens? <laughs> you went about it all wrong, my man. All wrong. I wonder, did he even have the ring? How's this for revenge? A solution observed. This is a live shot of Kripke's lab via a okay. mini webcam I was able to install thanks to a dollar bill discreetly placed in the night janitor's shirt pocket. At the same okay. time, I also secured large quantities of these chemicals when Kripke reaches the center of the room. More what if he's not the first one in the room, though? I am really impressed. No, ask the question. Really ask the, the question. Sheldon Cooper way to get even. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> it may be love. At least they don't know it was you. Hello, Kripke. This classic prank comes to Oh my god, Sheldon, why? Sheldon Cooper. If you'd like to see the look on your stupid face, this video is being instantly uploaded to YouTube. Oh, and that oh my goodness. To Leonard Hofstadter and Raj Kutrapoli <laughs> for their support and encouragement in this enterprise. He put them in there. Why? Well, I'm going back to India. What's your plan? <laughs> Sheldon, you fucker. I want to be so bad. Hey, here's your table, <laughs> table seven. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. Testing. Check. Oh, I am so sorry. Are you kidding? That's the most romantic thing anyone's ever done for me. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that seems to be our episode. Pretty funny episode. Season number three, episode number nine of The Big Bang Theory, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get straight to it, shall we? Now, don't be upset at me, please. Please don't. Don't kill me in the comments below. This is the first time we've seen Bernadette, right? I mean, I don't remember seeing her on the show. And if I did see her, she must have been on the show about maybe one episode for like two minutes, right? I don't remember seeing her, but this is really cool to see. Um, It's cool to see that Howard may potentially have a love interest here. Um, As we kind of saw um in this episode, Howard's the guy who wants to try to get someone that is way out of his league. You know, that's that's kind of the impression that I was left with here, like how he was like how he kind of pushed her to the side. You know what I mean? Um, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool to see Howard kind of do something that is not what Howard normally does. Well, I can't quite say that Howard does pretty. He does some things sometimes, but like, for example, he made himself look like a fool right now to impress her. And I think she was impressed. But I mean, I don't know where this leads though right like is she gonna be a regular on the show is she going to be 
Howard's actual girlfriend. I would like to see that. I think that would be cool. Um, and I think that this would be a pretty cool move. Like, I really hope to see more of her. And like I told you guys before, I apologize if she was on the show. I just never... I don't remember her being on the show until now. So, and the only reason why I say that is because they talked about, oh, we went on three dates. And I'm like, three dates? I just seen you. So, you know what I mean? So, I didn't I didn't know. I didn't know if we seen her before and we just, it was kind of quick. Or this literally was the first episode, which, like I said, I think this is the first episode. But comment down below if, if you guys seen her in an episode before this or not. Just so I could know. Um, but this was awesome. Uh, I think that this was cool to see Howard get rejected the way he has because Howard normally gets his way. Well, I can't say normally gets his way, but like you could tell what Howard was like, what his mindset was on. He wanted to get in her pants and she did the right thing. She's like, no, 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 we're not going to do that. It's only been three dates. No, because she was going to give it to him after three dates. Anyways, um, I want to make sure we're something first. I don't want to just give myself up to you. I want to make sure that if this is going to happen, we must be official. And I think that's cool. I think that's a right decision. That's a right move. Um, Because she does not seem like the type of girl to just be, you know, all around moving crazy. You know what I mean? So I think this is cool. This is fine. Um, And it made Howard look funny at the end. You know what I mean? Trying to win her over. And I'm pretty sure he did. I'm not sure, though, because it didn't really tell us if she wanted to be with him or not. So like I said, I hope she is back on the show. Um, The review is going to be short, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to keep it nice and short just because it wasn't really anything too, like, it's it's so hard to really talk about 30-minute shows. In this instance, 19 minutes. It's, It's so short. It's so short. And... There's only so much that I could talk about. Uh, so let's get straight into this here. Um, poor Leonard. <laughs> poor Leonard. They were shitting and shitting on, um, well, not necessarily shitting on him, but like they were talking as if he wasn't there. And I was like, damn, that sucks. And he even said, yo, I'm right here. What are you guys doing? I thought that was hilarious. Um, I thought the prank was great. Um, I thought it was great. And then I loved how at the end of when he was on the phone, speaking about uh speaking about Sheldon he knew exactly who it was he's like you you bastard I found the the nozzle that you put in here I'm gonna get you and I I just thought it was hilarious really really funny uh we got this moment here where I did not quite think it was another girl at first I did I'm like wait a minute but then I'm like no no way right um this is the type of stuff that I'm talking about Howard needed to get rejected to I, I don't know I don't know because t- what do you guys think? Do you think he had to get rejected in order to see the bigger picture here? Okay. What he's doing here, it's a bit weird. But I don't know. I, I don't even know how to explain this, to be honest with you guys. You know, I feel like what Bernadette did helped him realize what he really needed to be, uh, what he really needed to do as far as stop playing around, as in what we see here. And focus on the reality. Focus on the real. You know what I mean? And I liked when Penny was talking to Howard too. And kind of saying that it's not always about the looks. It's not always about, oh, she's pretty. She's hot. She's Megan Fox, for example. Because that's one of the names he, he used. You know, it's about inside. It's about who you are inside. And I think slowly... That Sheldon started to, oh, Sheldon, Jesus. Howard was starting to realize that, at least I think so, right? Because, I mean, he kind of had a change of heart towards the end of the episode. Um, So that was fine. Um, What else do we have? I felt bad for Sheldon, ladies and gentlemen. I honestly, truly felt bad because this was a big call. This was a national, uh, uh, not televised, but it was nationally on the radio all over the world, um, well, probably in the nation. I don't know. Whatever. It was everywhere. And he got he got made fun of. He got, you know, they made, like, they embarrassed him. And, and I totally didn't, I found it funny. Don't get me wrong. It was very funny. But I totally felt bad for Sheldon because I'm like, dude, they totally messed with him during a wrong time. And I just felt so, so bad for him. Um, Let's see what else. This, I don't know what this was, okay? This is not what she was meaning. Howard, she was not saying propose to me. He just wanted to know if you want to commit to me. That was it, you know, and I think he went overboard here. I think he might have just been 
talking out of his butt because he's proposing to her with no ring. You know what I mean? So I don't know. Fun episode though, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I'm not gonna be able to really keep it like a super long review. Um, it's not. It's it's kind of hard for me to to really sit here and, and break down 30 minute shows. Other than that, but it was a fun time. I enjoyed it. I had a great time laughing, and I hope you guys did as well. Remember, you guys, that's the whole reason of me doing this is so that we could have this community, you know, talking. We could have um a, just a great time coming in here. And just laughing, you know, and and that's what this show does to me. I'm sure that's what it does to you guys. And just hopefully we all enjoy it together. And I thank you guys so much for just tuning in. So with that being said, that's all the time we have for today. Like I said, I I didn't want to keep it too long. There's not really too much to go over, though. Uh, But fun episode. I really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys did as well. So thank you once again for tuning in. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of The Big Bang Theory. Take care, ladies and gentlemen.